Hey guys, it's Yuta. So today we are going to discuss how Megumin speaks Japanese because it's a bit different from other characters and it's an integral part of her personality. So without understanding it, you can't fully understand her. And I'm pretty sure you guys also watch anime strictly for research purposes to get some cultural and linguistic insights. And totally not because you don't have anything else to do. So let's learn something. First, it's important to understand different levels of politeness in Japanese. Because Japanese people are always aware of the level of politeness, and it's extremely important to speak with the appropriate level, because otherwise it can be rude or weird. There are many ways of classifying different levels, but there are two main ones. Keigo, polite speech, and non keigo, which we often call tamego. And non keigo isn't necessarily rude. It's only rude when you use it in the wrong context. So, when do you use keigo and non keigo? With keigo, you use it with people who are older than you, more important than you, like your boss or with your clients. Most adults use keigo when they talk to strangers, unless they are considerably younger. And with non keigo, you use it with your friends and family members or people who are younger than you. And of course, with your boyfriend or girlfriend. This is just a guideline, so there are exceptions, but I hope you get the general idea. So, which one does Megumin speak? s And the answer is Keigo. The way she speaks is quite polite. So, let me give you some examples, and it's very easy to identify Keigo sentences because they usually have either des or mas or their variations. Let me show you some clips. Atarimaides means of course, and you can see this in this sentence, so it's Keigo. Kazuma, Kazuma. How about this? Again, you find this, so it's Keigo. I won't let you go. Masen is a negative form of mas, so it's keigo. So the way she speaks is polite. Now, in real life situations, it's actually completely appropriate for her to speak keigo because she is younger than the other members. But anime is fiction and anime characters don't always follow these social conventions. For example, if you watch One Piece, people don't really quite follow this. Very few characters actually speak keigo, even though they are younger than other people. So it wouldn't be strange if Megumin spoke non keigo, but she speaks keigo, the polite way. But maybe in the world of Konosuba, people follow this convention that younger people speak Keigo with older people. And you can see this with Yun Yun as well, because Yun Yun is Megumin's former classmate, so she's around the same age. And Yun Yun also speaks Keigo. I'll help you too. And you can see Mas, so it's Keigo. But there's something very interesting. Yun Yun and Megumin are supposed to be the same age, so it would be normal for them to speak non Keigo with each other. Remember, you speak non Keigo with your friends and family members, and also classmates, because they are the same age. But Megumin actually speaks Keigo with Yun Yun, the polite speech, but Yun Yun speaks non Keigo with Megumin. Let me show you. Are we going to fight? And you can see this again. So this is Keigo. Matte, Megumin. Wait, Megumin. And here you don't see this or mas or any other variations. So, this is not Keigo. If this was a Keigo sentence, you would say something like, Matte kudasai, Megumin. And kudasai 
is another keigo word. And this is quite unusual because in a real life situation, Megumin would be speaking non keigo with Yun Yun. So, what's going on here? Now, let me explain how you would sound if you spoke keigo with your classmates in real life situations. It could be kind of weird and cringy. It would sound like you are trying hard to act like an adult or trying to sound mature. And I actually had a Japanese classmate who sometimes spoke Keigo with me back in Japanese school. I mean, middle school. And that was kind of cringy for the same reason. And you know why he spoke Keigo with me? I suspect it was because he was influenced by Evangelion because his favorite character was Ritsuko. And Ritsuko and Misato usually speak non Keigo with each other, but when they are serious or when they are arguing, they sometimes use Keigo. And I think my classmate thought it was kind of cool. And he was the kind of person who wanted to act like an adult. And I think Megumin is kind of similar, because if you remember, the anime describes her Crimson Demon clan as Chunibyo. And Chunibyo is a word for early teens who want to act mature and adult. So Megumin always speaking Keigo, even with Yun Yun, I think is part of her Chunibyo character. And as you can see, English subtitles can't translate these subtle nuances. So if you want to fully understand anime like Konosuba, you need to understand Japanese and if you want to learn Japanese with me, I can teach you the kind of Japanese that Japanese people actually speak so that you can understand anime without sounding like anime characters. So click the link in the description and subscribe. But the bottom line is, Megumi wants to sound serious and mature. And that's why she gets upset when Kazuma reminds her that she's only a kid. And I also noticed that Megumi speaks Keigo even with Enemies, look at this. Muridesu. That's impossible. And speaking Keigo with enemies is kind of unusual in anime. But Megumin's unconventional way of speaking Japanese doesn't stop here. She often uses archaic Japanese because it sounds cool. Do you remember how she introduced herself? Wagana wa Megumin. My name is Megumin. And that's not how we speak Japanese today. It sounds archaic. If this was modern Japanese, it would be something like Watashi no namae wa Megumin. My name is Megumin. But she prefers sounding archaic. But in anime, characters often do speak kind of archaic Japanese. Because it's anime, so they don't necessarily speak like real life Japanese people. But in the world of Konosuba, the way she speaks is kind of unusual. Because Aqua and Kazuma thought it was weird when Megumin introduced herself. Kazuma thought she was kidding. And her preference of archaic and obscure Japanese is very clear when she uses explosion magic. <laughs> Akaki Kokuen, Bankai no O, Crimson Black Blaze, King of Myriad Worlds. And you can see the English subtitles also try to translate the nuances. Many words she uses are quite obscure and we don't always understand. I don't even know if all of her sentences actually make sense, but they sound cool, so she uses. And that's quite Chunibyo because some teenagers try to use difficult words because they sound cool even though they don't fully understand. And I don't even think saying these things is necessary to use explosion magic. And she says different things every time. And you can see her trying to come up with cool expressions in episode 3 of season 2. <laughs> So, you can see that the way she speaks Japanese is an important part of her personality. And I find her character quite believable because I've known some Chunibyo Japanese girls like her. There are of course real life Chunibyo girls in Japan. Waga shinku no ryusu o mote, shiroki sekai o kutsugae-san. 
explode. But as you can see, a lot of these nuances are lost in translation with English subtitles. So if you want to fully understand anime characters, you need to learn Japanese with me. And if you want to learn Japanese with me, I will teach you the kind of Japanese that Japanese people actually speak today. Because textbooks tend to teach you a natural and old-fashioned Japanese. So click the link and subscribe to my email group, Japanese with Yuta. Alright, see you guys soon. Ciao, ciao.